This is how people in Lebanon really feel about the war. The reality of the people in Lebanon is that they live with an enormous amount of PTSD. This is a reference to when Lebanon went through a very bad civilian war for many years. This is a reference to the Israeli invasion in Beirut in 1982. This is a reference to the massive explosion right off the Beirut port in 2020, just a few years ago. The sounds of the bombing, the sounds of all of the raids, all of these things remind the citizens there of the very difficult times that they've all lived through in the past. Their economy is shattered completely and the explosion in Beirut a few years ago didn't help them at all. So the truth is, is that their country has been through a lot. And today there is more and more talk of a war. And with all of the PTSD that they have, they're completely against the idea of that. They don't have a prime minister. They don't have a government. Everyone is fighting. These feelings and sounds of war, all they do is bring them back to dark times. <laughs> So there is a massive political rivalry inside of Lebanon. Look, people on the street, on the ground, they don't want a war. They do not want to fight. And a lot of politicians are speaking out against Hezbollah. Do you know where the word Hezbollah comes from? It's a combination of two different words. Chezba, which means political party, and Allah, which means God. They are the party of God. So essentially the idea of Hezbollah is that they are God's party and everyone else is essentially Satan's party. In Muslim culture, Satan is a very huge deal. It's somewhat a Christianity thing, but in Muslim culture, it's a big deal. It's as if everything that is bad, everything that goes wrong, it's as if Satan did it. And in Islam, it has a completely different connotation. When you have other political parties within Lebanon criticizing Hezbollah, it's not so much about them showing love to Israel. In fact, it's not that at all. They're not huge fans of Israel whatsoever. But it is a political rivalry against Hezbollah. And this shows you that Lebanon has a fractured political system. Like any other country in the world, there is always the opposition that the ruling party does not like nor agree with. And in effect, they do not have a prime minister or a ruling party because they cannot agree on anything themselves. And therefore, Hezbollah is the strongest player. <laughs> The Hezbollah flag shows that they protect the Shiites. They have an internal war that has been going on for a long time between Christian and Muslim Shiites. The Shiites and the Christians deeply hate each other. They have even gone to war with one another in the past. In fact, the Shiites sometimes cut out the tree from the Lebanese flag because the tree is a symbol of Christianity. Their flag shows that they protect the Muslim Shiites against the brutality of the Christians. Before Hezbollah was the strongest player in Lebanon, the Christian Arabs used to go to war with the Shiites. There were actual slaughters that happened. So the full meaning behind their whole flag is that ultimately they are the protectors. The people in Lebanon are saying that, yes, maybe in the past it was true, but today, now, you guys are not protecting whatsoever the interests of the Muslim Shiites. And instead, you are just serving the interests of Iran. The people are saying that they, Hezbollah, don't deserve their interests because they have all been outspoken about the simple fact that they do not want to go to war with Israel. The truth about Hezbollah is that their legitimacy has nothing to do with their military strength. It truly doesn't matter how many soldiers they have. Their strength comes from the support of people. They were very, very popular when they drove Israel out from Lebanon. 
In 2000, their mandate was to drive Israelis out of Lebanon, and that's what they did. And even a couple years ago, there was a lot of tension between Israel and Lebanon because Israel discovered lots of gas offshore. Finally, Israel said to Lebanon, you know what? We're just gonna give you what you ask for and just leave us alone. And today, Lebanon still has a piece of the ocean which they can continue to explore in. הפגיעה הקשה בעורף הלבנוני והעובדה שיותר מ-100 אלף לבנונים נאלצו להימלט מבתיהם בדרום המדינה מסבירות את קולות הבוז שנשמעים נגד חיזבאללה מבעיה. 100,000 people have been evacuated from southern Lebanon as a result of this war. On the ground in Lebanon are saying how do we have 100,000 people who have currently been evacuated and we are now prepping for a war with a country who rightfully so is clearly pissed off. Look. Everyone in the world right now is talking about how Israel is the most hated country in the world and strategically, they have nothing going for them. But the truth is, is it's not that clear cut. Iran and Hezbollah are massive leverages against Israel. However, if Iran loses Lebanon, then Iran loses Hezbollah. It is a completely fractured country. There is nobody that has gone to Lebanon and shown you guys this and shown you what I'm telling you. People need to listen to those who live on the ground, the ones who are going through the motions and the ones who are directly affected by the current landscape of the Middle East. And hopefully this video shows you how people there truly feel about this war.